Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. There is some information about the upcoming update and I just want to clarify what is actually proven to be true and what is not in this video. So let's take a look at this sneak peek first. It was released three days ago. It has been released on Link and also on Facebook. And probably also on Twitter. I haven't checked. I'm not into social media at all. It just... I just think social media is way too time consuming. And I do not have a lot of time. But yeah. Just skipping to the next picture. There we go. Full picture. New sneak peek. New daily rewards. So that seems pretty sweet. Legendary hero card on day 30. I will get to the other points later, but first about the legendary hero card. It really, really seems nice for the people who already have through it, but that's basically it. If you do not have through it, I think having a through it is really one of the best heroes to start with. So, not having that through it to start with if you make a new account sure makes things a lot harder because just him buffing the rest of your team and also healing them is just really really great Druid really is an unmissable hero in my opinion so that can be really hard and I can imagine if some people start the game and their heroes die all of the time because they do not have a Druid that their fun is over pretty quick and they'll just uninstall it and try another game but yeah we'll just have to see about that but yeah if you already have through it it is really nice because it's just another chance to roll a really great hero like flat Dracula or pumpkin duke so that's pretty sweet now you also see purple and blue oozes so that's pretty sweet as well and also some mana over here but yeah, also the Paladin on day 21, but this is where it gets interesting. You get an HPM entry on day 28. Hey, come on. Oh, there we go. One HPM entry on day 28, and on day 23 you actually get a Hero Trial entry, and on day 18 you get a Dungeon entry. Now, you see on the top right that day 15 is selected and you get gold on that day. Now, I do not know about the HB and gem rewards, if those all will stay the same. They probably will, but yeah, cannot be sure about that, so... Yeah, that's basically it. Now, there were people going crazy about some other things, you can already see the picture on the top left here. And it was this picture. Well, there actually was another picture which made people crazy. Because, yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot of trolls spreading false information. Well, you can't really consider this false information. Because it was launched on official Castle Class page. But it is just misunderstood, really. That's it. Because you see 7 health. And it kind of... Yeah, most people know health means hero, so most people already are thinking that in the next update that you can actually get a 7th hero to your formation. But no, that's not true. Well, maybe later, but I translated it for you guys, let's just check it out. <coughs> Alright, so how would your... Helden aufstellen, that actually means team of heroes, your hero formation. How would your hero formation look in the game if you had the opportunity to use 7 heroes? So yeah, it's just a question from the Castle Clash community, just to keep people busy there. You know, the usual stuff on Facebook, they got more stuff like that, like puzzles and other questions and stuff you can win gems with but I'd rather just play the game myself instead of 
using my time to stay watching social media all the time. Now, we cannot dismiss this picture, but because after all, look at this shape, that black shape. That does not look like a hero that we have seen before. That looks like a totally new hero. So maybe in the future it will actually be implemented. But in the coming update, no, I do not think so. Because why wouldn't they put it on Link as well then? And also on the English Facebook version. Because that just seems way too important information to leave out. But yeah, that shape sure is interesting. Now, there was another thing about which people were going crazy. And that's this right here. Now, this is a picture spread by some Russian guy, also on social media. And yeah, as you can see, you see two heroes, a Thunder God and a Flat Dracula. And you see arrows between them, as if you can switch those or something. So people were going crazy, thinking that maybe in the next update they could switch heroes between accounts or something like that. Well, let me stop that discussion right here, right now. That's not true, that's all just a lie, this picture is a fake. I mean, look out at how cheesy it has made. I can even make a better picture like this with paint, you know? And I've actually made better pictures like this with paint. But yeah, besides it looking really, really cheesy... Why have it in Russian? I, I expect like... A Chinese or I mean Taiwanese version of it first because those guys have a head start at us and not Russia so but that's not the most important point the most important point why I do not think that this is true well why I know this is not true is why the hell would IgG do that they would be crazy to do that because there are a lot of people who have a lot of the same great heroes. People who have six pumpkin nukes, people who have six flat Draculas, people who have six Ares. There are even people with six Montanicas. So that would mean that those people would create a new account and just put those crazy ass heroes on there and just go crazy without even having to buy gems on those accounts. So that would surely cost IGG a lot of money if they were to implement that. And I do not want to say IGG is greedy, but <laughs> yeah, it just would be crazy to have something like this in the game. It really would, it would not be smart. All right, another point. There also was an Arabic version made of Castle Clash and as you can see this is the normal icon as we all know and now you have the Arabic version and th let's take a look at that icon it has a veil <laughs> so that's pretty funny it has its totally own look and I already went in the game to see if something was different because I thought maybe if they changed the look from the icon then maybe they even change the look of the heroes as well but no that was not the case because i went to the list of shardable heroes and they all look the same and if there is one hero of which i thought they would change it for the arabic version it would be succubus but no as soon as i saw succubus still having the same looks i thought all right this is just normal version the only difference is text being Arabic so yeah cast class is being spread around the world thanks for watching I hope you like this video and spread the word and also subscribe to my channel because I got a giveaway going soon when I got 
5k subscribers I will make a video in which I will show you two guild names and you can make a smurf account and just join the guild as soon as possible when those guilds when those two guilds are full they are full that's it and the people in those guilds actually have the chance to win $15 but I will be giving away $15 10 times basically all that I have earned with this YouTube channel the last month so there's also a video about that announcement you can check it out on my channel and by the way I am at 4658 subscribers right now so yeah just keep watching my channel and who knows if you compete you might win and yeah it's just another $15 of gems, you know?